Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a Spider-Man statue, specifically based on Spider-Man from the No Way Home movie which I have just watched and have been inspired by, this is Spider-Man in his integrated suit firing a couple of web balls. I really like this statue, I hope that you do as well, and if you do enjoy this statue, let me know, leave a like, leave a comment, that'd really help me out, and let me know if you would like to see some more, because I haven't made these on the channel in a very long time, and I do want to make some others if you guys would be interested, but without any further ado, and here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Step one, we have to build this statue on off the ground. So we have to begin by placing a row of eight any material extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then on top of this eighth block is where the statue will begin. Place a red concrete. Extend it left by three. One, two, three. Then extend all of these red concretes up by three. One, two, three, and every single one of the others. On top of this row, left to right, place a yellow concrete, two black, yellow. On top of the black concrete, place red, and either side of it, place black. We now want to place six rows of black on top. One, two, three, four, five, six and we want to place black concrete on top of every single one of these blocks. Now we want to, starting from the right side going left, place two yellow concrete, one, two, four red concrete, one, two, three, four, and then two more yellow concrete, one, two. So what we now want to do is place black concrete underneath these overhanging blocks. Then extend these blocks forwards by four rows. One, two, three, four, and we simply just want to extend all of them forwards the same. We then want to take the outward row and extend it one row down, and then underneath it, left to right, we place a black concrete, two red, and then a black, Underneath that, black concrete underneath the red, with yellow concrete either side. Four rows of red concrete extending down. One, two, three, four. And then we simply just want to extend everything down. So the effect should look like this, and you can kind of see how the legs will hang in the air. It's pretty cool. So we're going to make the rest of the torso now. So from left to right, for the next row on top of the yellow and red row that we have, we place a black concrete, yellow, four red, one, two, three, four, yellow, black. We then want to place two more rows of the same, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and the red as well. Then for the next row, left to right, we want to place a black concrete, yellow, red, two yellow, red, yellow, black, and then we want to have the exact same thing for the next row as well. Then for the next row, we want to place left to right two black concrete, four yellow concrete, and then two black. And then we're going to repeat this once more. We'll extend the black concretes and the yellow concretes upwards. Then for the next row left to right, we'll place two yellow, one red, two yellow, one red, two yellow. Then for the next row, three red concrete, two yellow, three red. Then for the next row, one red, two yellow, two red, two yellow, one red, and finally, one red, one yellow, four red, one yellow, one red. Now on top of this, we will actually start the head, we'll place an entire row of red, 
and then extend it two rows towards us, hanging off of the front of the statue. So you can kind of see how the legs are placed. We have the chest and we of course have the beginning of the head. We want to extend the most outward row of red concrete upwards by another row. And then left to right, one red concrete, two black, two red, two black, one red. Then for the next row, one black, two white, two red, two white, one black. For the next row, two white, one black, two red, one black, two white. And then for the next row, two black, four red, one, two, three, four, then two black. For the next row, one black, red concrete all the way over with a black on the end. And then finally, just an entire row of red concrete on top. So that is the head. So for the next part, we are going to extend the top of the head backwards by seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we will extend it down by the same and connect it back to the front of the statue extend it across to turn it into a big cube shape and then we will fill the center of the cube in with red concrete. The next thing we're going to do is work on the legs. It's time to make these 3D as well. So we'll begin all the way back with, well, where we begun, and we'll extend the bottom of this foot backwards by three rows. One, two, three. We basically want to copy what we have on the front of the leg onto the back of the leg. So that simply just involves us having a little look forward, seeing what materials have been used where, and then applying it directly to the back of the leg. There is absolutely nothing different. The same sort of applies for when we get to this hip area as well. We want to extend this black concrete across, and then for the sides of the legs, we are simply going to match what we have on the left and right and place it in between. So the red concrete, the yellow, the black all the way up at the top. We're applying that all the way as we get up to the top and we can even extend this yellow concrete back as well. So for the inside of the leg here, we also want to do the exact same thing until we reach the top. Even though it's getting increasingly dark here and due to the settings in my monitor, I don't think I can even see <laughs> what needs to be placed where. But that's okay, as once you have completed the, what I'll call the dangling leg, we have to then do this leg. So this leg will start off with the foot as well. We'll extend it backwards by three rows. One, two, and three. And then we want to once again make the back and the sides identical to what we have on the front. Well, the back is identical to what we have on the front. We, of course, just want to copy the materials, but the sides are also essentially the same as what we have on the sides as well. So you can just extend that backwards quite easily and freely, as we'll do here. Extend the yellow, the black, and then on the opposite side, it should just be the same, the yellow and the black as well. Perfect. So we end up with this pretty cool 3D effect. Now, the only thing that I'd recommend doing is extending the hip area across. So I'd extend the hips across and join together underneath here. But I'd, I'd probably also extend from this yellow concrete here backwards using your black concrete. I'd extend maybe, let's do two rows backwards. We'll extend two rows backwards, fill the middle in, and then just join upwards like this and it just gives us kind of like a a bent leg sort of effect and we could even add just like an extra row of black concrete just here up in this crease and I, I think it just looks a little bit better this way 
So now that we've done that, we can tackle the rest of the torso. The torso is actually incredibly easy. So for the torso, we're only going to work on this back portion here because the arm should cover the other open portions. I want you to begin by copying the yellow concrete parts. So just these two long rows copy directly onto the back, right? Then the red concrete that we have on the front wants to be black on the back. So that's really easy to just copy and flip it onto the back. The yellow concrete is the same in between. And then for the spider body up at the top and the middle, it's also the same. The black concrete on the sides wants to be the same on the back also. Just like this on both sides. Then we want to place our yellow concrete on top of the black and here is where it gets to be the same as on the front is we want to now make the red parts on the back red as they are on the front and the same with the yellow. So that is where it ends. So basically, once we take a little look at this, the lower half of the back ends up being black and the upper half is red and it's a pretty cool effect. So the next thing to do is the arms. We will do the easier arm first which is the one on the right. So all the way up at the top of the torso here we'll take this red concrete and we will extend it to the right by one. And then three yellow concretes going right, one, two, three. Extend backwards by two, one, two. Red concrete on the end. Two yellow concretes extending in. And then a red concrete to join back. And then we can fill the top of the shoulder in with red. So we can start extending down the front of the arm now. In the corner here, we want to place two yellow concretes joining down to join the rest of the spider. Everywhere underneath this and then above it wants to be red. So underneath this, extend the red concrete to the right by four and then join it upwards. We then want to take the first red concrete here, extend it down by four rows using black. One, two, three, four. Then a row of red to the right of it. Two rows of black to the right, so one and two. And then we want to extend the end row of black concrete here down by a further four. One, two, three, four. Place red concrete in front of the bottom four blocks, so one, two, three, four. Basically just the difference in the upper arm and the bottom. Place another row of red concrete in front of this, and then two rows of black concrete in front of this. One and two. We're then going to extend the end of the hand across by three. One, two, three. And we can just extend these upwards like this. Extend the top back row, and then place red concrete extending back as well. We can then join the red concrete down, and then across underneath like this, and we can do the same with the black. So that turns this into a solid shape. And then when we come to the side of the arm, the top set of rows are red concrete. So one, two, three, just, uh, just extend these across the back like this from the front. The rest of the arm is going to be black concrete like this. So just underneath. And we also have to fill underneath of the arm as well. This is also going to be in black concrete. And then apart from the top here, when we get up to the top, we want to place two yellow concrete in this corner as we did in the front. And then red concrete just to join and connect everything together. And then we simply just want to place rows of black concrete just to fill this gap. So. The end result should look like this. And now that we've done that, I'm realizing that that might have been the more difficult arm. <laughs> so the next thing that we're going to do is of course, we will tackle the, I guess the more difficult arm now that I'm looking at it. So the more difficult arm, we want to start in the back corner here for the torso, just underneath the head. 
and we want to place a red concrete extending out. Three yellow extending left, one, two, three. And then we want to extend the original red forwards also by one, two, three, just like this. And then extend the red concrete across like so, just to fill in the gap. We're then going to extend the yellow concrete forwards by a row of four using black concrete. One, two, three, four. A row of red to the side of it. And then two rows of black extending out. Then in front of this, we'll have two rows of red and then two rows of black concrete. We'll then extend the end of the hand down by three. One, two, three. There we go. And then we just want to basically just extend the outer part of the arm all the way up to the black concrete here. We just want to extend the relevant colors. Uh, we just want to extend them around like this to form the 3D portion of the arm. So we've got a couple of rows of black on the end, a couple of rows of red, and then we have four rows of black leading all the way up to the mid arm, just like this. I feel as though that I destroyed a block. I genuinely can't see where I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Hang on. There we go. I can't see where I'm missing with these settings. And then we want to extend these three rows of red down. And then it gets a little bit different. Like with the yellow concrete here, we want to extend down one, two, just like this, and then stick red concrete underneath. We will then extend red across. And honestly, it might look a little bit better if we do, if we join the yellow concrete up here diagonally. It might look a little bit better. And then if we just fill this in using red concrete and then underneath the arm, we'll just kind of just use our best judgment here. We'll just join the red concrete across. This leaves a hole in this side of the statue. We can fill the bottom in it using yellow concrete and then the rest here just in with black. There we go. That looks pretty good. And now we are going to add the webbing because I think that this is a really cool portion. So if you didn't want to, you don't have to add the spider arms, but I would always recommend adding the webbing. Otherwise it just kind of looks like Spider-Man's performing a bit of Kung Fu just in midair. But I mean, it's, it's still a cool statue regardless. So for both of the hands, we're gonna do this. We're going to take the center and place one, two, three, four webbing or cobwebs, I should say, cobwebs, extending from the middle, extending out like this. On the ends, a two by two square of calcite, and then white glass block surrounding the calcite like this. And the end result should look like that. So it looks as though that Spider-Man is firing like a full on um, spider ball at people, like a big ball of webbing. Uh, alternatively, if, if you wanted to, you could do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or maybe even six. And you could just have like uh, a regular sort of like web if you wanted to as well. It's, it's kind of up to you how, uh, how you want to do it. I mean, he, he can control like what sort of um, web he shoots at people. So wants to fire a big ball then he can if not I mean I, I kind of like um, I kind of like both and I kind of like having I, I think that it looks better with like two two of these I think but it's completely up to you 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 could even make it uh, so that spider-man is swinging as well like if you put some webbing in uh, in one of the hands probably that one up or down connecting to something but I think that that looks pretty cool as is. And I do think that this statue does benefit from the leg. So I am actually missing just a little something for the back. Now, I've decided to use gray concrete, but you could easily just use like black concrete. So I've, I've used gray or black concrete for this, it's up to you. So come to the back of the statue and notice that you haven't filled in the bottom of the head here. So, you know, that's something that I probably should have done earlier, but what can you do? So now that the back <laughs> bottom of the head's been filled in, we're gonna grab the gray concrete and at the top of the spider head here, the top of the spider body, the yellow emblem, I want to place gray concrete extending out and then place yellow concrete either side, place two rows of gray underneath, so one and two, place yellow concrete in the corners and then gray concrete 
in between and this is where the arms are kind of going to be coming from so I know that um, I know that he doesn't exactly have like a pack on his back but you know it's it's just something to kind of like add a little bit of uh, make it look a little bit more interesting to uh, kind of diversify against some of the colors so uh, let's start with the top right hand corner arm which is this one so we're going to extend this outwards by two using yellow concrete one two to the right by eight one two three four five six seven eight and then up by three one two three right by three one two three up by eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forwards by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to curve this down a little bit. So we'll go down, forwards, down, like this. And make sure that you're happy with it. I think that that looks pretty good. You can make it higher, you can make it lower. I think that that looks pretty decent. And then all I'm going to do is add polished black stone buttons just here, um, just where this would curve. And now I'm going to head to the opposite side here and we're going to start on this corner. So with this one, we're going to extend this corner backwards by four, one, two, three, four, and then left by three, one, two, three, up by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left by three, one, two, three, up by three, one, two, three, forwards by three, one, two, three, up by three, one, two, three, forwards by three, one, two, three, and shall we make it a bit higher? Or is that a good height? Because we could still make it a little bit higher. Let's let's try it higher. We can always reverse it if we want to. So let's go one, two, three, and then extend forwards by let's let's start with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I really, really want to make sure that I like this. You see, I th I think that actually looks pretty good. So what we can then do is we can extend it down forwards down add the buttons in the two little joints here and I think that 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 looks pretty good like we don't want it too high and I don't want it to be too far over this way because I'd, I think it had ruined the balance of the statue a little bit so let's head towards the back and we can uh, work on this once more so let's start with the bottom right hand corner well once again Shall we make it so that it's kind of opposite, actually? Okay, so we'll extend this back corner outwards by four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll extend it down by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend to the right by three. One, two, three. Extend it down by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the right by three. One, two, three. And then let's just join all the way down to the ground. Like, please be this block. It is perfect. And once again, we take a good look at it, especially from the front where like all of the action is. So that that looks pretty good. You might want to extend it outwards a little bit more. You might not, it's up to you. And it, it might help if we didn't have this row of yellow here kind of just getting in our way a little bit. So I think that that looks pretty good. So coming back to the back once again and to the opposite side here, this time we will only extend it outwards by two, one, two, and then we'll extend down by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, left by three, one, one, two, three, down by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left by three, one, two, three, down by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Left by three, one, two, or maybe we'll just do two, and then we'll connect it out. Something's telling me two instead of three, I don't know. But we can always take a look and we can always, uh, yeah, I, you see, that looks pretty good to me. That, that looks pretty good. So, of course, the idea is that Spider-Man is balancing on the two, two bottom-like legs, and the other two are kind of in like an upward defensive position. And I think that that looks really cool. I'm very happy with the end result here. And that is that. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything that you may have seen in the background as we have been building this, check out the City Builds playlist. That is in the description below and at the top of the comment section more than likely. If you would like to have a walkabout in this world for yourself, channel members get a brand new fresh free download link if you are a channel member 
in the community tab. Java edition only, channel members have access to a brand new download link for Stream City every single time it is updated. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye!